Hello everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and I'm going to talk about audio properties and audio actions in ScreenFlow 4. The first thing you need to do here is go up to the Properties pane and click on the little speaker icon for the audio properties. Now these work very similar to video properties. You can change the audio properties for an entire clip, or you can change the audio properties for a portion of the clip with audio actions. Now to change the audio properties for an entire clip, just select a clip in your timeline with audio in it, such as this one here, the FaceTime camera. And over here you can reduce the volume. You can select ducking. And what that does is it lowers the volume in a different clip, say background music, while there is audio in the clip that you select. Let's say you're talking and you have background music. When you start talking, it'll fade the background music out. And when you stop talking, it'll fade the background music back to normal levels. And below it, we have the meter. You have your left and right for stereo. And this shows you your audio levels. And here you can mute the audio for the entire clip. And you can smooth the audio levels so you don't have low lows and really high high volumes. You can mix your left and right stereo into mono and you can also apply audio effects here. Click here and you have a list of different effects that you can apply and underneath it you can change the amount that they're applied to that clip. And here we have a remove background noise filter. You can select that and you can adjust the effect that it has on your clip. And finally, we have audio filters. Just click on the plus, and here's a list of different audio filters, such as a distortion here. You can add that. And there's a bunch of different controls with this distortion that you can adjust. To get rid of this, just click on the X, and it'll get rid of one of those audio filters. Now, if you want to change the properties for a portion of a clip, just use an audio action in the same way that we used video actions. Let's move the scrubber to a point in the timeline. Let's say at this point I want the audio to fade its volume down to zero. Let me zoom in here so you can see this a little better. So I'm going to add an audio action and I'll place the audio action on that clip. Now if the scrubber is at the end of that audio action it affects the clip from that point and after. If the scrubber is at the beginning of the video action, it affects that clip from that point and before. So at the end, let's change the volume down to zero. And let's play this and you'll hear the volume fade to zero. Blah, 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 blah. And, that... and it fades. And you can use this technique with any of the other properties in the audio properties. Audio actions also work the same way as video actions. You can adjust the duration by clicking on the beginning or end. Click and drag to adjust the time it takes for that action to happen. And just click and drag to the left and right to position this audio action exactly where you need it. So that's working with audio properties and audio actions in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.